All right, get ready because we're diving deep into a world that just might change how you see those adorable bushy-tailed creatures we all know as squirrels. Yeah, it's fascinating, you know, this deep dive. We're going way beyond just squirrels eating acorns and stuff. Mm -hmm. We're looking at specifically California ground squirrels. Right. And their uh, unexpected food choices. Yeah, we've all seen them, right? Scampering around parks and stuff. They seem pretty harmless. Yeah. But a new study uh, from the Journal of Ethology. Interesting. It's revealing a side to these creatures that's, uh, I guess you could say, a bit more hardcore than we're used to. It is. The study was done in Briona's Regional Park. Okay. And they uh, really carefully watched these squirrels for weeks and weeks wow. and documented a surprising behavior. Um, they're hunting and eating voles. Voles. Okay, hold on. Squirrels eating voles. I mean, voles aren't exactly tiny insects here. This seems like a pretty big change from their usual diet of nuts and seeds, right? I mean, what's going on? What's making them do this? Well, that's what's so interesting about it. Yeah. Um, researchers think that there's been, uh, you know, a really big increase in the vole population in Briona's Regional Park. Oh, okay. And it's created like a, an opportunity for these squirrels to... Uh, you know, find a new food source, a really abundant food source. The squirrels are thinking, hey, look at all these voles, might as well take advantage. Exactly. And it really shows this amazing thing called dietary plasticity. Dietary plasticity. Which yeah. is uh, the ability of animals to uh, change what they eat. Oh, interesting. Based on, you know, what's around them. So they adapt. It really shows how resilient they are and how they can adapt in a changing environment. That's fascinating. But, I mean, voles, a lot of people think of voles as pests, right? Like, they can really mess up gardens and crops. Yeah. Could these meat-eating squirrels, could they actually be helping us out here? That's a great question, and it's something researchers are definitely looking into. Yeah. It's possible that these squirrels could uh, help keep the vole population in check, you know? Oh, Wow. Which could be really important for agriculture and pest control. Yeah. Imagine that. Natural pest control by squirrels. <laughs> it's pretty amazing when you think about it. I know. It really changes the way we usually see these creatures. Instead of just cute and fluffy, you know, now we're seeing them as adaptable and maybe even helpful parts of the ecosystem. Yeah. And this is where understanding, like, what an ecosystem really is becomes so important. Hmm. It's this whole web of interactions right. between, you know, all the different species. All the different plants and animals. And their environment. Yeah. The squirrels, the voles, the plants they eat, even the soil. You know, it's all connected. So even something small, like more voles all of a sudden, it can have a ripple effect on the whole ecosystem. Exactly. And the squirrels, because they're able to change what they eat, they're adapting to those changes in a way that might help other species, even us. Precisely. Just watching these squirrels eating voles, it helps us understand so much more about how they fit into the ecosystem. Wow. And how everything in nature is connected. That's amazing. It really is. I got to say, I'm looking at squirrels a little differently now Right. when I go to the park, you know. I'm kind of looking at them with a whole new sense of awe, knowing they might have a vole or two stashed away for a snack. It really makes you see those cute, harmless creatures in a different light, right? It does. And this, this whole thing, it's not just about the squirrels, you know. It makes us think about animal behavior. And how they adapt, especially with everything changing in the world. So what do you mean? What's the bigger picture here? Well, think about it. Yeah. Climate change, habitats disappearing, you know, invasive species. Yeah. Like, it's forcing animals to change in ways we don't even fully understand yet. So these squirrels switching from nuts to voles like that, they're like a case study in how animals adapt. Exactly. They're showing us that some species can change their behavior, even their diet, when their environment changes. Wow. And that adaptability, uh, it could be what helps them survive. It's like they're telling us, hey, don't underestimate us. We're tougher than we look. That's a great way to put it. It makes you wonder what other, like, hidden talents or adaptations are out there just waiting to be discovered. This study was part of a bigger, longer research project, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it sounds like they spent a lot of time watching these squirrels. Oh, absolutely. It wasn't just a quick look. Researchers have been studying these California ground squirrels in Briona's Regional Park for years. Wow. Carefully tracking what they do and how they interact over time. That's amazing dedication. It really shows how important these long-term studies are, you know, for ecology. That really is. They let us really get deep into how ecosystems work. Yeah. And see 
patterns and things we might miss otherwise. Exactly. Speaking of ecosystems, we talked about how squirrels eating voles could affect the balance, right? Right. But what about the voles? How are they dealing with this new predator? Well, it's not just a one-way street. You know, it, evolution is like a constant back and forth between predator and prey. As squirrels get better at hunting voles, we can expect the voles to, you know, figure out ways to fight back. Like an arms race right there in the park. Exactly. The study noticed that voles are already starting to avoid squirrels. Mm -hmm. They're more careful. They run away faster. Maybe even changing how they move around and where they hang out. So it's happening right now. Yeah. It's amazing to see these changes, you know, happening all around us. It is. We tend to think of nature as being kind of static. Yeah. But it's always changing and adapting. Right. And this study really shows that dynamic process in action. So... What's next for these squirrels and voles? Are the squirrels going to become like full on carnivores and take over the park with their vole hunting skills? Oh, that's the big question, isn't it? It is. It's too early to say what will happen long term with this predator prey relationship. OK. But one thing's for sure. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I can already see researchers setting up cameras, you know, to capture it all. Squirrel versus vole live from the park. It's like nature's reality show. That's what makes science so cool. It's full of mysteries and surprises. Definitely. Every new bit of information opens up a whole new world of possibilities. It makes you wonder what other surprises are out there. Like, what about pigeons? You know, those birds we see everywhere, especially in the city. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could they have some hidden talent or something weird they eat that would totally shock us? Now, that's an interesting question. Maybe we need another deep dive to find out. I'm already on it. <laughs> But for now, let's wrap up our look at these incredible vole-eating squirrels. You know, I have to admit, I'm looking at the squirrels in my backyard a little differently now. I know, right? They're not just those cute and fluffy things anymore. Yeah. There's like a whole other side to them. It's amazing how one study can totally change your whole perspective. It is. It reminds us that nature is always full of surprises. Yeah. And that even those creatures we think we know can still have secrets. This whole deep dive has been eye-opening. We been. started out thinking of squirrels as, you know, just nut lovers living in trees. Right. But we've learned that they're way more adaptable yeah. and resourceful than we thought. And that adaptability, like we've been talking about, yeah, it's key to survival, especially now with the world changing so much. Right. Whether it's the climate, you know, losing their homes or new species coming in, yeah. animals that can adjust, change what they eat. They've got a better chance. Those squirrels in Briona's Regional Park. Yeah. They're a perfect example. They are. They saw all those voles. Yeah. And they went for it. They did. It's pretty amazing how flexible they are. Makes you wonder what other creatures are out there. Yeah. You know, seemingly harmless. Right. But with these hidden talents, doing things we'd never expect. Maybe there are all sorts of hidden talents in the animal kingdom just waiting for us to find them. Absolutely. It just shows how important it is to keep observing, keep researching. Yeah. We've got so much more to learn about how nature works. So if there's one thing our listeners should take away from all this, what would it be? Hmm. I'd say the biggest thing is that nature is full of surprises. Yeah. Stay curious, ask questions, and be ready for the unexpected. I like that. The more we understand nature, the more we see how it's all connected. That's true. And how much more there is to discover. Well said. Next time I see a squirrel, I'll be looking at it with a whole new level of respect. Me too.